So I want to tell you something, my partner, he is gone to Nigeria, he's actually Nigerian and Jamaican, so he went to Nigeria to um, look about some business that he had, and then while he was there, he was like, we need to come out here ASAP, so he thinks it would be a really good idea to do Crazy Burger in Nigeria. So, um, I love it. I'm totally, totally down for it. When I first came to Ghana, when I was first thinking of moving and I Googled Nigeria, it just looked so scary and so rough and so like, you know what I mean? You cannot move there. And so I just wrote off Nigeria as a place to move to. And my partner, he hadn't been there for years. And the last time he'd been there, he, you know, it was like, uh, it wasn't as nice as, as Ghana is right now, but, now that he's been there recently, he's like, wow, it's like a whole world that he didn't even realize existed. And now that he's there and he's experiencing it, he's like, yeah, um, Crazy Burger would do really, really well out there. So I'm really excited about that. So we are gonna look into it and see what's possible. You know, we're just throwing the idea around, but I'm like so ready for adventure these days <laughs> in my life. I can't even believe in Africa to begin with. And now I just kind of feel so open to exploring the whole entire continent, really. One minute. Hi. Yeah. All right. Okay, bye. Oh yeah, so that was just my meat. We are gonna be doing oxtail and mac and cheese. So um, the meat was just delivered to the shop. So we're gonna be doing that. I think it'll be great. You know, Christmas is coming up. Expats are gonna be in town. So we're gonna try to like, you know, just build up the menu a little bit more and provide more options so that's pretty exciting yeah so he went that first time to lagos like three weeks ago and now he went back to finish what he was doing and get his nigerian passport and all that type of stuff and then now he's in abuja and he's saying abuja is so beautiful it looks like he said it looks like canada look like it looks like toronto and he said he loves it out there even more than lagos so um, again, there's lots of room for opportunity for like the food business, restaurant business. So um, I don't know. So I'm hopeful and I like the idea of it. I love to just visit to begin with and see what it's like. But then again, when I came here, I didn't even visit. I just moved here. So I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. Yeah, so um, comment down below your thoughts, you guys. If you're um, also from Nigeria, Lagos, Abuja, let me know what you guys think. Yeah, 
anyway so let me call you guys back real soon i have to go do a few things okay bye bye i'm in the post office you don't put anything in China. no it's just here so yeah that. yeah that's it no. so registered is 147 and then this other way is 300 something cds so i'm doing registered because it's not in a, in a real rush and it actually does get there pretty quickly even though it could take up to a month but it normally gets there before so that's fine my car is outside waiting look at Bob. Bob. look how much he sweats look at the sweat he cannot deal with the heat man he's an actual winter baby he's a winter baby for ghana he was born july 31st which is like cold season so um he sweats he sweats I'm dumb, but I wanted to show you this place because I've never seen it in my life. I don't even know what this is. We're at a campus, I believe. And I did not know this little like <laughs> place existed in here. Um, yeah, I guess this is what they call Lagan Campus. Never been in here. It's really interesting. Oh, I was talking in my phone. My camera was out the window. Yeah. So this is um yeah. I think it's called the Gun Campus. Yeah, okay. It's really cool here. University of Ghana. Okay. Hey guys. So I just spent like an hour and a half slaving away. We got this oxtail, which doesn't look like oxtail at all. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. But it does have some oxtail pieces in it, but I don't know. It came with the skin. So I just spent like an hour taking off all the skin and cleaning it up. I fried it off, I seasoned it, like my oxtail seasoning, whatever. And now it's in the pressure cooking. The pressure cooker, cooking. Oh my God. So because my camera, the screen isn't working, I cannot see, right? So I thought this whole time that I had an SD card inside my camera. Oh Lord. This, a, a new camera is actually what my dad was bringing from Toronto. So now I have to find another way to get a new camera because this has happened to me more than once where I think I'm filming, but there's no card inside the whole entire camera. Burr. Yeah, so um, so pressure cooker is going. So we'll be back to see how the oxtails turn out. Okay? Love you. Bye. So let me update you guys on my arthritis. So I've been taking these little pills that I got from this naturopath doctor. And it's helped. Like it's basically night and day. Like night and day. I have no pain in my hands. I don't have any pain, but I, I feel like there's like a shadow of pain. I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say. I can feel like there's something, but I don't know if it's the leftover. I don't know. I don't even know how to like describe what I'm feeling, but I don't feel any pain. Like it does not hurt, you know, but maybe it just is going to take some more time to actually heal. So that's been going well, but at the same time, I've been a little bit stressed because I, I really do want to keep up vlogging, but I'm also just exhausted, like naturally, you know? So um, I feel a little bit tired, you know? And like, just kind of stressed out because I'm just juggling a lot. Of course, Bop Bop's, he's three months, um, but really and truly, I should still be like in super rest phase and stuff like that. I really shouldn't be doing too, too much, but I also feel like I can't not do too much, right? So, um, yeah, I've just been kind of going, I think, since he was born. Yeah, mm -hmm, pretty much. So, um, that being said, the point I'm really trying to make about that is that I think that I stress eat sometimes. So, I kind of eat things that I really shouldn't eat, especially with this inflammation thing, right? So uh, sometimes I just eat a piece of bread, 
a piece of bread. And you know the wheat is like, you know what I mean? So I've been sometimes having those things, especially now that I feel a little bit better, I sneak those things in because I'm not paying like that much of the consequence, right? But I'm saying that I've noticed a little tiny bit of the feeling coming back when I eat those inflammatory foods. So the point I'm making, again, <laughs> is that the infl inflammatory foods really make a huge, huge, huge difference. You know what I mean? So when I'm eating the rice, the breads, the whole grains and all that type of stuff, I feel it. I feel it, you know? So I just have to eat like super duper duper clean, you know, to combat this thing. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm just waiting for the oxtail to be finished. It's been like 35 minutes, 40 minutes. So it'll be done very soon. Um, can I even call it oxtail? <laughs> but we'll see how it turns out. I have another oxtail plug anyway, so I don't have to go with this person. I have another oxtail guy, so I'm just gonna go back to him. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay, so um, let me be with you guys in a couple minutes and see how the oxtail turned out. I really hope it's at least really tender and like fall off the bone um, with the pressure cooker. It's been pressure cooking for one hour, so I think that should, should should do it. So I'm actually making myself a salad. Making a salad. Um, I don't have the dryer, so I have to like just pat it dry. I do not like wet salad, you guys. So I'm just patting this down. Yeah, man. I think I need to actually make some quinoa with my salad just to give it some hardiness, you know? So I have an appointment for a bop bop from Makai <laughs> at the end of this month to get his um, Canadian passport. And I'm thinking that I actually want to visit Nigeria once he gets his passport. I want to visit, maybe in like December. Because I am very serious about this potential um, opening Crazy Burger over there. We have someone who actually wants to like franchise it, like get a franchise out there. We would have to be there to kind of help them set it up, maybe for a couple of months. And then I guess see from there, you know? There's so many things that I want to do business-wise. I'm just one person though, you know what I mean? And of course it takes capital to start different businesses, you know what I mean? If I had a couple hundred thousand, I could do a lot. I'm gonna make my chemo right now, actually. I just put my chemo on. This is the first mango I've bought since before Bop Bop was born, in like three, four months, because it was out of season for a while, and these are like, so expensive. You couldn't even find it, and if you did, it was expensive. It didn't like, make sense. So I'm gonna be putting one in my salad. This is part of the reason I came to Ghana. I came here to get unadulterated food, like pure food, you know? About a ton of chemicals and pesticides and all that type of stuff. Like that is why I came here, you know what I mean? And I abandoned that for a little bit. I was eating rice and chicken and rice and chicken every single day. So I just need to make sure I keep it up. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my phone died. Mmm. You love this mango, huh? This mango has 10 CDs, so you got $1. But hopefully it'll get cheaper, like seven CDs or five CDs. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, I put that to go in the salad and he's just eating it. Huh? Oh, good. don't worry, I eat it. Mm. I don't mind to see you eat mango bop bop. I mean, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Gonna put some apples.
Okay. It looks good. Oh yeah, definitely melting. Like it's definitely, it's doing the melty thing. Oh yeah, this is just, it's definitely fall apart, fall apart tender. It's just shredding into pieces. And that's what we want. Okay, wow. Really, really tender. Wow, I love this. So let me taste it and see what it actually tastes like. Can you guys see? So I'm gonna try it. Delectable, delectable. It really is delectable. I didn't put like much vegetable stuff in it, so I think I'm gonna turn it on and add some onions and just let it cook for another 20 minutes. I'm really loving that, Jordan. I'm really loving it. That is great. Let me wash my fork. Let me wash my fork. So my salad, I put it together. I added some goat cheese to the top. Just a little bit of avocado. The avocado I bought was spoiling. So I'm using a little bit of olive oil. This is apple cider vinegar. A little bit of honey. I'm going to add a scoop of Dijon mustard in here. And a little salt and pepper. And that is how I make my favorite ever vinaigrette. So I can avoid all those bad ingredients and store-bought um things it tastes so delectable putting it on my salad yum i'm gonna shred this with the kids as well so my quinoa is cool now i'm just gonna pour it on in here maybe about half my delicious topping on and we get to get it. it doesn't look delicious because I just have it in this big bowl but it's delicious okay so I'm gonna see you guys soon after I eat my ginormous salad I'm sure the kids are gonna help me eat this So, the partner is back from Nigeria. So, I'm moving. I'm getting ill. We're just eating some sushi. I haven't had sushi in so long. It's against the rules, but I'm living it up a little bit. Don't worry. I'm following this up with a colonic. Yeah. So, I'll be cleansed of this in no, in no time. Here's Bop Bop. Sleeping. I love when they don't know how delicious food is yet because you don't have to share. But when he finds out how delicious food is, we're gonna have on everything. You know what I mean? Anyway, so let me eat this sushi and call you guys back. Yeah.
Hi, Bob Bob. There you go, Bob Bob. How cute are you, right, Bob Bob? So cute. Yeah. Hi, Bob Bob. So we're all done. Mmm, it was so delicious. And I won't be having a meal like that for a very, very long time again. Yeah, another six months. But I'm gonna have um, some magnesium because that helps me clear my system. You get what I mean? Ma, right, Baba? Right, Mama? Hi. Hi. So we're headed home. Going to edit this vlog. I'm gonna go to my bed. <laughs> Yeah, um, that was such a delicious meal, but I'm done with that life. Back to, um, to the Whole Foods. <sighs> anyway, I was just coming on here to tell you guys goodbye. This is the end of the vlog. Yeah, so I'm going to see you guys. Um, I got the itis, as you can tell. But I want to see you guys in the next video, okay? So I love you guys so much. Love you.